Hello, dear friends. The topic we will examine today is the short history of Europe, starting from ancient times to the present day, that is, the modernization period of Europe. You will appreciate that it is not possible to explain this thousands of years of history and fit it into videos, but we will examine it from a general perspective and exchange ideas. Not only is it affected by the world, but it also affects the world in the process. Let's examine the history of this magnificent continent. Before watching the video, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, comment, and share our channel. Let's start with the history that we will examine in five periods. One Antique and Pre-Medieval Period. Antiquity and the Pre-Medieval Period in Europe cover a long period of prehistory and antiquity. During this period, Europe became the home of various cultures, communities, and civilizations. Here are some important points about this period. Prehistoric Period The prehistoric period of Europe begins with the first periods in human history. During the Paleolithic Age, hunter-gatherer communities lived in various parts of Europe. During this period, people lived in caves, hunted, and benefited from natural resources. Neolithic Revolution a significant transformation took place in Europe with the spread of agriculture and settled life in the Neolithic age. People discovered agriculture, adopted a settled lifestyle, and founded villages. During this period, trade and cultural exchange between communities also increased. Bronze Age and Iron Age. In the early history of Europe, there were important periods such as the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. Bronze was an important material for the early civilizations of Europe, and bronze items were produced. With the arrival of the Iron Age, iron replaced bronze, and more advanced weapons and tools were produced in Europe. Ancient Greek and Roman Civilizations In the later periods of antiquity, especially from the 8th century BC, the ancient Greek and Roman civilizations had a significant influence in the west and south of Europe. Greek city-states exhibited early examples of democracy and made significant advances in philosophy, art, and science. The Roman Empire, on the other hand, controlled a large region of Europe and spread Roman culture. This period has an important history that forms the roots of Europe. Antiquity and the pre-medieval period played a fundamental role in the cultural, social, and economic evolution of Europe. Yes, dear friends, in the second part of our video, we examine medieval Europe, which left deep traces in world history. The medieval feudal period in Europe, also known as the Middle Ages, spanned roughly from the 5th century to the 15th century. This era was characterized by feudalism, a socio-economic and political system that dominated much of Europe during this time. Here are key points about the medieval feudal period, feudalism. Feudalism was the dominant social and economic system of medieval Europe. It was based on a hierarchical structure where land was exchanged for military service and loyalty. Kings granted land, fiefs, to lords, nobles, in exchange for military support and protection. In return, lords granted land to vassals, knights, who pledged loyalty and military service. Manorialism Manorialism was another essential aspect of the feudal system. Manors were self-sufficient agricultural estates owned by lords. Peasants, known as serfs, worked the land in exchange for protection and the right to live on the estate. They were bound to the land and owed various obligations to the Lord, including labor and taxes. Role of the Church The Catholic Church played a central role in medieval European society. It provided spiritual guidance, education, and served as a unifying force. The Pope wielded significant political power, and the Church owned vast amounts of land and wealth. Political Fragmentation Medieval Europe was politically fragmented, with power distributed among numerous kingdoms, principalities, and city-states. Centralized authority was weak, and monarchs often struggled to assert control over their territories. 
Feudal lords wielded significant power within their domains, cultural and intellectual developments. Despite the political and social instability, the Middle Ages saw significant cultural and intellectual achievements. The era witnessed the rise of medieval literature, art, architecture, such as Gothic cathedrals, and the founding of universities. Scholars like Thomas Aquinas and philosophers of the scholastic tradition made important contributions to medieval thought. Crusades The Crusades, a series of religious wars sanctioned by the Church, were launched to reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control. The Crusades had significant social, economic, and political impacts on Europe including the expansion of trade and cultural exchange with the East. The medieval feudal period in Europe was a complex and dynamic era, marked by feudalism, political fragmentation, religious influence, and cultural achievements. It laid the groundwork for the development of modern European states and institutions. In the third part of our video, we examine a period that contributed to world development. The Renaissance and Reformation period is an important era in European history, spanning from the 14th to the 17th centuries. During this time, significant cultural, intellectual, and religious changes occurred. Here are the key points about the Renaissance and Reformation period. Renaissance. The Renaissance, lasting from the 14th to the early 17th century, marked a revival of interest in the culture of ancient Greece and Rome. It was a period of great rebirth and flourishing in art, literature, architecture, science, and philosophy. Artists and scientists delved into the study of human potential and the nature of the world. The peak of the Renaissance occurred in cities like Florence and Rome in Italy. Reformation. The Reformation period beginning in the early 16th century, refers to a series of religious and political changes within the Christian world. It started with Martin Luther nailing his 95 Theses to the door of the church in Wittenberg in 1517, sparking the Protestant Reformation. The Reformation led to calls for reform within the Catholic Church and resulted in divisions and separations. It challenged the authority of the church increased religious diversity within Christianity, and reshaped the political landscape of Europe. Cultural Changes The Renaissance and Reformation period brought about significant cultural changes in Europe. The Renaissance promoted human-centered thinking and encouraged advancements in art, science, and philosophy. The Reformation emphasized individual religious experiences and questioned the authority of the Church political impact. The Reformation had profound political implications, leading to the strengthening of national states and the centralization of monarchies as the authority of the church declined. Intellectual Developments The Renaissance and Reformation period also witnessed significant intellectual advancements, new discoveries, scientific methods, and the importance of individual freedoms were emphasized. The Renaissance and Reformation period represents a pivotal moment in European history. It laid the groundwork for modern worldviews and shaped the political, cultural, and religious landscape of Europe. Yes, dear friends, we have come to the end of another video. We recommend you to watch the second video, which is the continuation of this video in which we examine the history of Europe, the modern age, and the modern period, industry and modernization. Hope to see you in another video.